Hello everyone and welcome back to the Duke's Farm. Welcome back to this exciting episode of another educative, informative video. And today we're going to talk about uh, how much and what exactly did it take for us to fence off our farm. And just for those of you who are new on this particular channel, our farm, which of course is a rabbit farm and other different ventures that I'm yet uh, to launch to you in this new year 2022, Right now, the biggest enterprise is rabbit farming and we had to fence off these two acres of land. So how much did it take us? Well, that's a discussion we are going to have today. So please sit back, relax and get your pen and books. So before I talk about the cost and everything else involved in actually uh, putting up a fence on your land or what it took us to have a fence on our land, I want to let you know that fencing off your land has immense benefits. And some of these include uh, for security purposes, uh, it helps you prevent intruders, say for example thieves or just people who would love to access your farm without actually uh, you allowing them to. So it helps you deter uh, thieves and unwanted persons from actually accessing your farm. Number two, it helps you uh, in safeguarding your land. So for example, you'll be uh, dueling away with all the land wrangles in the area. You all know how uh, land is in Uganda and all that is involved where people encroach on your land. So fencing it off, first of all, uh, is one way of actually uh, preventing your land from being encroached. Plus also it prevents animals, foreign animals, say for example goats, cows, pigs, uh, dogs, cats from actually accessing your farm because for those of you who didn't know most of those animals actually spread diseases and if you're dealing in a related animal or animals they could actually uh, spread diseases to, to your farm so it's very good to fence off your land uh, before you start certain ventures say for example chicken uh, rabbits uh, goats among many others and there are different types of fencing but for what we are going to talk about today we chose uh, the chain link uh, and then barbed wires. So our two acres of land uh, are where our farm sits. We divided it into like two. Half an acre, uh, that the one that is actually not very, very much used, we used barbed wires. And then the one and a half acres, we used a uh, chain link. Chain link are those uh, things that you're seeing on the screen. So I'm going to break down for you every item and how much we spent on it and eventually I'll give you the actual uh, cost of having this fence, uh, this land fenced off. The number one thing that we bought was a chain link. Now chain link we used around 24 of them and we used 12.5 uh, gauge. Chain links are sold in gauges so we used the 12.5 gauge each at Uganda shillings 175,000. Now for those of you who are not in Uganda, a dollar rate right now is at 3,600 so you can compute and then get the dollar so you can know how much you will be required to actually start something like this. That chain link remember some of them are between uh, 16 to 18 uh, feet so just in case you didn't know. Another thing that we used was the fencing poles and each fencing pole, we use the concrete poles because they are a bit durable as opposed to the ones that are uh, wooden. So we use the concrete poles and these had, I think, three bars inside. And each of those poles was at 35,000 shillings and we used around 144 uh, poles to have this whole two acres of land fenced off. And that brought us to a total of uh, 5 million and 40,000 Uganda shillings. I, just to take you back, the chain link, we used uh, 4.2 million Uganda shillings. That is, of course, uh, around 24 of the chain links, each at 175,000 shillings. 
Another thing that we used were binding wires and we used five rolls, each roll at 100,000 shillings. That brings us to a total of 500,000 shillings. Yes, that we spent on binding wires. We also used cement. Cement about 15 bags each at 27,000 Uganda shillings, bringing us to a total of 405,000 Uganda shillings. We also used a wire roll and we used uh, wires rather. A roll each, we used two, each at uh, 140,000, bringing us to a total of 280,000 Uganda shillings. Uh, we also used barbed wire. Remember I told you half an acre? Uh, we used barbed wires and each of those which were 12 was at 150,000, bringing us to a total of uh, 1.8 million. We also used lake sand and we used a forward car. Yes, each we used two of the Fords. The lake sand was at 150,000, bringing us to a total of 300,000 shillings. I beg your pardon. And then the stones, which we also used two Fords, each was at 210, bringing us to a total of 420. Then the transport for poles and chain link all came to a total of 500,000, because those things are many, so we used uh, cars to bring them to our farm. Uh, we didn't uh, produce them at the farm, so uh, 500,000 shillings for the uh, bringing of the things. So labor, now labor, it could actually go down or go up depending on your beginning power. But for us, they use, we used 3.5 million Uganda shillings. And like I said, the dollar rate is at 3,600. You can do the calculation and then get to know exactly how much you'll be parting with. But again, this could go high or go low depending on who and where your farm is located and how big your land actually is. Uh, that all computed together comes to a total of 16.845 uh, million Uganda shillings. 16 million 845 uh, thousand uh, shillings 16 million eight hundred and forty five thousand Uganda shillings for those of you who have been asking me a video on actually the cost of fencing of this land now just to take you a little bit back most of these things I tried the best uh, I, I, I tried bargaining the best prices you could equally do the same and bargain the best prices depending on on where you're located and well the relationship you have with that person selling those things because me i got it directly uh from the uh from the the company that do the production of these things another thing that i can advise is of course this is something i should never have done in the beginning but i was meant to do it anyway now one thing that i will uh, want to put across is the cost of putting up this fence is actually uh, high but this cost is only for people on a large scale people on a commercial scale people who are looking at doing rabbitry on a big scale and by big scale i mean over 200 rabbits plus you will need the fence uh, but people who are doing it on a small scale well this is a cost i shouldn't really advise you to go into because if i had known personally i would have first set up the farm and then keep working on this fence as as as, as i go on uh another cost that i'd forgotten was for the gate the gate cost us roughly 2.5 so if you calculate that brings us to a total of around uh, 18 million uh you point something uganda shillings just for the fence and that's a lot of money uh somebody else could have actually uh, used that to put up a different venture at the farm and then that venture uh gets uh, gets the money to actually put up the fence so either way you you do uh, the calculation if you have the money please set it up if you do not have there are also different options so for example uh, planting live fences or live plants to act as fence so either way you weigh in the options and see what works for you depending on how much you're earning Dense Duke is my name. If you're new here kindly subscribe don't forget to follow me on different social media platforms at Dense Duke UG until then Goodbye.